Hello and welcome to another Hit Basher tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how you can add and organize your sponsors so that you can bring more life to your kits and bring customized sponsors within any kits that you want to generate. So we're going to draw, uh, jump right in and we're going to look at a very simple setup that we've already got with a, a Manchester City um, set of t uh, kits for us to generate and to edit your sponsors it's very easy if you go to settings manage sponsors and you'll be given a list a kind of explore window to explore around the different sponsors that are already installed for you to have a look at and edit now these ones all come with a, um, a set of um, default sponsors and you can navigate around just by double clicking to go into any of these folders now we're going to want to do a brand new theme for these sponsors so to organize things very nice and easily you can just create a new folder and we're going to call this one charity so it goes with a the theme we're going to add in a charity theme and here we're just going to double click and we're going to upload a new sponsor we're going to do war child so if we just click on war child it's uh, allows pngs and svgs as a file type so if you have vector versions of your um sponsor then it will work with that fine if you've got a png file that is also fine so if you just click open you can see war child is added in there and if you just wanted to go with that it is ready to go but we're going to do some a bit of organizing and editing so the first thing we're going to do is you can just click on it and you can see here that you can set the name of the sponsor and here's some more um, settings you can do just to um, enhance your experience but today the first thing we're going to want to do is just change the name or you just say and it's just now warp space child now with sponsors we have what i call silhouette versions now silhouette versions allow you to have a colored version that matches the colors of this kit that you are adding to by default home kits do not have silhouettes but the away kits and the third kits do and to show you what i mean i'm going to just take some real world examples so if we look at the southampton kit from 21 22 you can see here we've got sports bet io as a sponsor but it's got this kind of white background now when I do uh, silhouette kits, what it does is it paints everything that is not transparent and adds them to the kit. So if I wanted to get an effect like here, where there isn't the white background and it is colored in the coloring of the kit, as you can see, it matches there, then I'm going to want to upload a silhouette version just to cu uh, cut out the white in the background. And the same with War Child. If I painted over everything that's not transparent here, then I would get a black or a, a colored square on the, my um, kit so it's very easy to do all you need to do is go uh, is to open up the sponsor in an editor or find online a, a, a one that would work in silhouette and we just click this upload silhouette version while selecting war child and here you can see here's one i made earlier where i took out the black so that it is um, transparent in the background you don't have to worry about it not being the same color it'll be colored by the system later now if i now click ok that is now set up and it is all ready to go we've got war child and we've got a silhouette version in the background that is now um, ready to go and how do i now use this sponsor well i could just go into here click generate and hope by random chance that i hit that particular sponsor but i'm going to want to do it manually and make sure that Manchester City is now sponsored by War Child. So what I can do is I can click into the Man City um, team and I can click on this manually create kit and it will pop up with this new window and I want to do a kit type of home. Um, I can select a, I can now select a template from the list. Um, I'm going to keep it with Adidas just for simplicity's sake and we can go with this kit here. That's quite nice. Um, I can leave the shorts color to original so that I'm not changing anything. And here I want to do a sponsor. I can, I can just click random, uh, click this drop down, and instead of random, I'm going to select um, charity war child. So you can see here it's organized by those folders. 
so it makes it easier to find and I can select War Child. I can leave the other sponsor as random. That's the kind of sleeve sponsor like um, Southampton has here. And I can click Generate. And what I'll do is in the background, I'll do um, one for home and away just to show you the difference. So I'll click Generate. And then after a time skip, I'll come back with the generated kits. And we're back. And after a quick time skip, we can see that I've generated the kits. And you can see here that War Child has been uh, added to this kit. So we've got a nice War Child sponsor, nice and charitable there. And if I go on to the next picture, this is the, the away kit that I generated for Manchester City. You can see we have the silhouette version here where it's painted in the non-transparent version of the sponsor that you've uploaded. You don't have to upload a, a um, silhouette version. It is only if you need something different when it is doing this kind of painting version um, over the top. And that's all we've got time for today. If you have any comments, questions, or queries about how you can add a sponsor, how to add a silhouette sponsor, and any other questions about Kit Basher, do please join us on the Discord. Uh, the link is below, um, and we can uh, talk about it there. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or queries, do please get in touch. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in another tutorial.